On the American Woodshop Show number 2312, we cover all the details on making your own custom wood doors. And in this case, this is after a famous home in Piqua, Ohio, and gorgeous rosette pattern. And to recreate this rosette pattern, I'm just using baseboard that's four and a quarter inches wide with a gentle sweeping curve that really draws the eye into what will be the center turning. Be sure to watch the show at the American Woodshop, wbgu.org slash American Woodshop. And now to drill those rosettes, I'm using a fence and a rosette cutter at the right speed and a stop. Now, to space it, I'm using the proper piece of wood. I did the math, and along a 67-inch back edge, I'm going to have a total of 17 rosettes. I just used that piece of wood. I did the math simply by laying out the center rosette and then balancing everything else out left and right. I used the AutoMax clamp to secure this. You never use large diameter drill bits without clamping it. In fact, whenever I use a drill press, I'm always clamping the material. So that's secure against the fence, which give me the correct spacing from the back edge. And let's make the cut. Hand secured to the table. No way that workpiece going to move. And that's all the way down to the stop right there. So now that's done. I can bring up the stop, slide the workpiece down, butt it against my spacer, and complete drilling the beautiful rosettes that make a great accent on this door. Work safely. Clamp your workpieces. Get a great fence. This is by Craig. They have fences for virtually every tool in your wood shop. So if you don't know about it, and they have a series of swing stops and miter stops that are phenomenal. And these AutoMax clamps, you cannot beat them. In fact, that's what I'm using to secure the fence to my drill press table. So easy changes. There you have it. Also, when I'm using my hand to hold work pieces, it's always supporting a clamp, but I always brace my hand to the table as well. Work safely.